name and the year I graduated from Mercy. My name is Yolanda McLeod Moore and I graduated from Mercy School of Nursing in December of 2003. My name is Kevin Caldwell um, and I graduated in 2015. I actually worked as a paramedic in Mecklenburg County for about 16 years before I went back to nursing school. And what I noticed across the board is that the people who chose Mercy as their school of choice for their RN training, just it just seemed like from a clinical competency standpoint, like they were just, you know, just leaps and bounds beyond, you know, students who had gone through other programs. I just remember thinking, Am I going to be able to do this? I've been out of school for a while. It was really interesting to see, you know, the, how the, I guess, uh, how many, so many people had chosen their second career to be nursing, you know, and to hear those stories as to why, because I mean, most of them were really completely unrelated to healthcare. You had guys in engineering, you had guys in business. Well, I think we all had varied backgrounds, but nursing all brought us together. My Mercy School of Nursing student uniform was a blue and white pinstripe top that had MSON in blue embroidered down the side. So we would wear those tops along with white pants and that was our uniform. The student uniform, as far as the clinical rotations, uh, it was like a, um, kind of like a Carolina blue type top um, and navy pants so anytime we went to any type of a clinical rotation you could instantly pick out who was from mercy you know it was, even though it was you know blue on blue there weren't that many people who were wearing that so it was always you know kind of like oh you're from mercy even if they're from a different class or whatnot you kind of already had that bond there were several along the way that each had their own quirks that helped me to really learn. Joe Andrea Costner being the first I think kind of intro to nursing instructor kind of really gave me that foundation, I think, that I needed to say, hey, this is the right field for me, gave me the confidence I needed when I was wondering, oh, I don't know if I'm going to pass this test or pass that test, but I would say that Joe Andrea really set the foundation and the framework for me. Lisey Turner, she knew everything. She was very well versed on all of the subject matter, um, but also she had kind of this not, no nonsense type personality about her where these are the expectations, this is what you will do. Now, she had these little uh, mannerisms that you really couldn't not think about. Like she would always do this thing where um, when she was talking about renal, um, she would say the kidneys have tunnel vision, but she would always make binoculars and she'd say, the kidneys only see what they see, you know, and, and you could, you know, that they're not getting enough blood flow. And I just, you, I mean, how could you not learn from that? Because anytime I start thinking of like uh, renal disease at all, I still see Lisey holding up those binoculars, you know, and it was just interesting how she always talked. So I feel like I make a difference in healthcare. But I think what goes the longest way is when you're taking care of a patient and then they actually say, thank you for what you're doing for me. I think that just speaks volumes. And even when the patients couldn't speak for themselves, if their family members were there and could share with you what it meant for you to take care of their family member. You don't start to think about it, I don't think, in, in those I'm making a difference type things until you start to reflect on it and see, you know, when people are like, wow, I'm really glad to see it's you. You know, maybe they had a bad experience at another hospital. Maybe they had a bad experience previously, you know, or, you know, just weren't feeling very, you know, positive that day. But when you walk in, uh, it's like all that negativity is kind of gone and they're like, wow, you know, I'm really glad to see it's you and they want to talk to you and, you know, kind of bring you up to speed. And it's not just like a report. It's more like a report. Now, what makes a Mercy nurse so special is just the education they got and then knowing that they have truly gone into clinicals and gotten into the trenches and really learned the art of nursing at its core. I think the fact that they just spent so much time concentrating on those core values, you know, or not core values, but core areas as far as patient assessment, documentation, communication, um, and skill excellence was really kind of what set them apart, you know, so that when we came out, we were, I was able to get into Canopy and just do my thing. But I would say it's just really been a, you know, a privilege to go to a school that has the history that Mercy does um, and to learn under some of what I would consider to be the finest instructors I've ever had, you know, and having gone to um, UNCC for my undergrad, um, you know, the paramedic school prior to that, um, you know, I would just say that these instructors are just second to none, you know, and it's just been, it's been really honored.